Now, something I forgot to mention, which is very, very important for you to know when it comes to drum racks, is you may want to have more than uh, just 16 sounds uh, to work with. Now, there are a few different ways of going about that. So let me just load in some more sounds. Uh, I'm going to go to my drum pad right here. And what you'll see here uh, on, the, on the screen, to the left of the 4x4 matrix, there are lots and lots of tiny, tiny squares. And you'll see here in this section, uh, like a, a light gray area. That represents the four squares that you see right here. Now I can click on that and move it up a little. And now we have uh, 16 empty pads. And what I can do right now is I can go and just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to load in 16 almost. I'm going to load in 16 more sounds. I'm just going to drag all of that on there. And now you'll see I, I have a whole bunch of new sounds on my push. They aren't color coded because I just dragged them in. Now I, on, on screen, I can move up and down between the sounds with the mouse just like that. Now, if you look over here on the push, as I'm dragging up and down, if you see right here on uh, this uh, touch pad thing, <laughs> a, a touch strip, I think it's called, um, you'll see this moving up and down as well. So this can actually be used to move up and down between those sounds, which you can see on screen right here is also now moving up and down. So that's a way to navigate between your sounds. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to move up to here to where it's empty. And now I'm going to load in a bunch of other sounds just here to the middle like that. You'll see why in a moment. So, you know, this is all, this is all well and good. But, you know, while I'm playing... I might want to access those bell sounds that are up here. And it would be kind of annoying whilst I'm playing that I would have to sort of move the shifter. And then obviously I wouldn't be able to access these sounds whilst I'm playing the bell sounds. Now there's a great way around this that the guys in Ableton have come up with. So you can see this layout button right here. I'm basically going to push that and then different things are going to happen. You'll see now it says drum 16 velocities drums, 64 pads, and then loop selector. So there are, are three different pages I can access with this layout button. We're going to go on to the 64 pads. And now you can see that this is now changed. And if you, you might remember the reason I, I, I did this was these pads where the bells are, I didn't want to fill up all of these pads just so you can see that this is what those sounds are right there. And then here we have those bell sounds, but, but I can't access the, uh, the colorful palette that we put together before. So I just dragged this down to here, and now we have the, the colorful palette I created before, then the second set of sounds that I dragged in, and then here we have the third set of sounds, and then up here we could have a fourth set of sounds, which let me just drag in some... Oh, let's, let's take something other than bells so we don't just have bells. Let's take... Timbales. And I am now going to just click over here into that empty section and drag these timbales and I'm just going to put them up here at the top. And now I'm just going to drag this down to here again. Now if you drag too far down, you'll see you can basically fill up this entire strip. So I, I want to have where these lights are grayed out at the bottom. So let me just go like that. And now we have those timbali sounds. So now I have the option of having 64 pads as a pad layout instead of just the 4x4. Four four. I can have an 8x8. Eight eight, and that's how you'd set up 64 pads. Um, and there are people like Mad Zach who can actually play the 64 pads or Sean Wasabi. Those are two great names to check out where you can see the absolute mad possibilities that um, open up when you are able to play uh, that many pads at once.
But if you decide that's just a bit a little overwhelming, you want to stick to the pads you had before, you just hit the layout button again until you can go to the loop selector, and then you can uh, perform as we had before.